Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Waste or Worth It Wednesday. Uh, it feels so good to be back with these videos. Honestly, these are like one of my favorites to film just because I can sit here and be just completely open with you guys about products that I think are totally worth it or products that are just a complete waste of your money. I saw that they were releasing some new eyeshadows and these are the ones that I got. I got this one in the color Beautiful Browns which has, you know, your neutral colors. The second one that I got is called Matte for Plum and this is actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I also saw that they came out with a illuminating palette. And then the very last thing that I got was also their new Matte Magic Mist and Sets. They have this one in the matte and then they have one in luminous or something like that, but it's for people that have dry skin. So I'm first going to start with the palettes. I'm going to start with this one, which is matte for plum. Again, this is the one that I'm wearing on my eyes today. Now my first impression when I first got this product was the packaging. Ugh, I'm not a big fan of it and I'll tell you why. When I was using the eyeshadows, because the space in between these little bars they're really close together so it is kind of hard to get your brush in there it's not a big deal if you're using like a really nice tapered blending brush but for example when i was applying my crease color i used a flat um, defining brush and it was really hard for me to get in here so that's the only complaint that i have about this is that the packaging for me it's not the best i rather have them in like little squares or something where it's more easy to access the actual color the second thing is these are very powdery they are when you apply them onto your eyes you do get a lot of fallout so i do recommend for you to apply your foundation after your eyeshadow because you will see tons of fallouts but nonetheless the pigmentation is amazing i will be i will be giving you guys swatches i think they're really really good really pigmented for only two dollars a piece i think they did a really good job now moving on to the matte magic mist and set i like this it's okay i do feel like it keeps my face matte for a little bit maybe three hours but I don't think it makes my makeup last any longer than it already does. So it doesn't prolong the wear of my foundation, concealer, etc. It's not bad for the price. It's $4. The only thing that I feel like I have to complain about is the size of this. This is the original e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. And I've literally gone through bottles of these. Because they contain such small amounts and this one has the same amount and i think this is actually like a dollar more than this this is like three dollars and these are four bucks so i think it's just the fact that they are mattes and then the other ones for like radiance or whatever so i think that's why they upped the price a little bit more and then the last thing i want to talk about is the illuminating palettes which honestly this is a product that i was mostly excited for because again I love a really pretty glowing highlight. So I am almost super disappointed with this product. And let me tell you why. When I saw that they were coming out with a illuminating palette, I really thought really nice highlights, you know, glowy skin and just pretty much what I have on my face. And this is not from this palette. So this, this is what I was expecting. Unfortunately, that is not the case with this palette. All the colors are really pretty, but my complaint is that there is no highlight to them. They're really powdery. That's the yellow one. It's just literally all powder. Now, what I've been doing is I've actually been using the yellow one and this one, sorry, it's so dirty. I've been using the yellow one and I've been using this one underneath my eyes to get a really brightening effect. And let me show you guys really quick the difference of when I do that. So I don't even know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but I can definitely tell this side is a lot brighter than this side. So I don't know if you can see, but my eyes look a lot brighter now. They do look a little bit luminous, just like a tad bit, but again, it's not something 
super dramatic like you're putting highlight underneath your eyes so all in all i would definitely say that the eyeshadows are worth it again my only complaint was just the packaging it's kind of hard to get in there but the pigmentation just is, it sits so well with me that i really can see past the packaging now with the illuminating palettes again i was disappointed because i was really hoping to get a highlighting palette and that's not what it is but as you've seen i can use it to really just brighten up this area right here and it gives me like that super kim kardashian you know like that white look almost underneath your eyes so if you were hoping to get this palette for the illuminating purposes of highlighting i would totally say just skip on this because it is six dollars now for me, since I already bought it and I bought it online, obviously I cannot return it. I'm going to keep using it occasionally to just use these colors together to, again, brine underneath my eyes. And then with the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Sets, I honestly would say to skip on this. I don't see much of a difference between this one and this one. And again, this one's like a dollar cheaper. And they just, they have the same, that's just what annoys me. They have the same amount of product in them. And I seriously go through these like, like water. Like this won't last me long. So that was everything for today's Waste or Worth It Wednesday. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know what other products you guys would like for me to feature on this series. And leave them down below so I can know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!